your storm track weather with Chief Meteorologist Matt Miller. We'll continue to watch areas of rain popping up and developing over the southern portion of the viewing area before exiting out later this evening. It'll entirely clear out as we head into the night and we'll look for temperatures to really warm over the next couple of days with lots of sunshine. Should be very uh, nice, pleasant on a mid spring warmth as we head through the middle part of the week, but another round of showers and storms by Friday night and Saturday. The gust of wind, you can see that green line kind of emanating out from those rains. That's popping up a couple of showers over Pottawatomie County, but most of the activity closer to Topeka is fizzling because of that, but it continues farther to the south. You can see the showers uh, right now east of Eskridge, between Eskridge and Harveyville, starting to taper off a little bit at Auburn and across southern Shawnee County, but eastern Osage County from Linden to Overbrook to Quinimo and Pomona down to Melvern, all the way down through Waverly and to the east. We continue to have some heavy rain. It's been raining a lot in Franklin County. Flash flood warning south of Ottawa until 9 o'clock. And then heavy rain from Burlington southward toward Gridley and Leroy, getting some moderate to heavy rainfall and numerous cloud to ground lightning strikes, even reports of half inch diameter hail at Burlington recently. Mostly sunny at Holton, scattered clouds becoming mostly cloudy with nearby rain at Emporia and nearby storms at Lawrence as well. Topeka, we've had showers in the western and southwestern portion of the county for a while, but a lot of cloud cover hanging over Topeka and still fairly warm. Temperature right now 72 degrees with an east southeast wind at 17 miles per hour. 76 has been the high after starting out this morning at 55 degrees, but we've cooled back where the rain's been nearby, 63 at Forbes Field, 65 at Linden, where there's been no rain, 81 at Manhattan, 80 at Concordia, Solomon at Junction City at 79. Southeasterly breezes coming out of those showers and uh, kicking up the wind just a little bit could still develop a couple more showers, but it, they won't last long at this point as we're looking at kind of the end point of the storms to be as the sun lowers in the seven o'clock hour. We'll look for the light wind tonight into the morning, picking back up with a stronger breeze, but a drier wind tomorrow. So again, you see these little scattered areas of rain from Missouri into eastern Kansas all the way down into southwestern Oklahoma. That little disturbance, that's that blue dipping of the lines. It is now moving southward, but this big ridge is building in behind it, and that is going to mean quiet, clear, and warm weather through the week. The rains kind of fall apart. That gust of wind goes on out through the region. We're left with a clear sky tonight and lots of sunshine into the day tomorrow and as well into the day on Wednesday. Another computer projection shows that same area of rain also fizzling out during the evening hours. So again, a lot of look that these rains are going to only last for a couple more hours before they fall apart. And then we warm up upper 70s by midday up into the lower 80s for a high tomorrow and much of the same on Wednesday 50s in the morning upper 70s midday and up into the low to mid 80s for highs on Wednesday. Tonight down to 51, south wind will clear and we'll be back up to 81 with sunshine tomorrow. Looking ahead to the next several days, we certainly have warm weather through the middle of the week with lower 80s. Another chance for thunderstorms late Friday into Friday night. Should wrap up early Saturday with highs into the 60s over the weekend as we start to clear out through the day Saturday and should have a pleasant, a little cooler, but pleasant day on Sunday. Also, don't forget we're helping you get your weather radios programmed and ready to go. We have two programming events this week, uh, one Wednesday from 3.30 to 6 in Emporia at the Blue Stem Farm and Ranch, the following day in Manhattan from 3.30 to 6.30 at Midwest Ace Hardware. So make sure to note those two days. They're coming yeah. up this Wednesday and Thursday. You know, some about those radios, a lot of times people are like, I don't want to hear all the beeping. You get so used to it because we have a lot in yeah. the newsroom. It really is. It is a useful tool. Very useful. And if they're yeah. properly programmed, they don't beep that much. No. That's a nice part. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Maybe we just got special ones. Yeah, we do. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Matt. Thank you so much.